Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. It's been a little while, and it's cold up here, so let's not be here anymore. Let's let's be somewhere else. Because there's a new DLC! And I don't need my serious hat on anymore. I might need my serious hat on, I don't know. But I don't think so. But let's get out of here. So yeah, apparently new DLC has been released. I don't know anything about it, because... As always, this is blind. So... Okay, I do know one thing, just for the sake of expedience, which is that I need to go over to... here. I need to go to the Kiln of the First Flame. There's apparently a bonfire there that gets me over to the new DLC content, and that's what I need to do in order to get to the new DLC content. If I can find... Hey! What's this? It's a bonfire. Travel to the Dreg Heap. Okay, so given the name of it, I'm assuming there's something to do with the deep. Because dregs are related to the deep. Or something like that. I think. I was playing through with my other character and the... Just beat both deacons and abyss watchers. You know what's really funny? My other character is a pure crossbow build. Like, crossbow with sorcery, rather. And, I mean, I guess it's not terribly surprising that I was able to do this, but the character here, Irina that I'm playing right now, took me 91 tries to beat the Abyss Watchers. In case you haven't seen that episode or just started watching now in the new DLC content and not the original stuff, frankly, I agree. You probably should just watch this stuff. Honestly, the original stuff was okay, but my attitude is not good. However, it took me 91 tries. This time, Granted, crossbow-based character, I kind of knew what I was doing, and I didn't have to be right next to the boss in order to fight them. It took me three tries, and I had a pretty a pretty good lead on the first try. So, yeah, that was kind of odd. Anyway, back to the DLC. Also, yeah, there was a, my point was that the Deacons of the Deep, which actually was a really, really, really hard boss, it took like 50, 60 tries for that same character, because it's a bunch of meat shields, so good freaking luck getting through them. I mean, Farron Greatsword is a godsend in that regard. Anyhow, that dropped the Deep Soul spell, which talks about dregs of humanity, and I was reminded of that, so it's in my mind. Anyway, who are you? You're one of them Londor people. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last, but here we go again. Who? What is it you want from this old stone-amped hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. Well, that came out of nowhere. You think an old stone-humped hag would be brimming with goodies? It's worth a shot. I've <laughs> none of that, not a smithereen. Oh, really? Nothing. What was this? Split-leaf greatsword. A long-handled greatsword, long greatsword that made its way from a distant land, crafted entirely with steel, making it exceedingly heavy. Split-leaf refers to the shape of the great blade, and its resemblance to the veins of a leaf. Skill is wind wheel. Spin weapon vigorously above head and sweep foes, and transition with normal or strong attack for continued spin attacks, which whip up wind and gain momentum, strengthening subsequent attacks. Okay. That's interesting. Looks like a looks like a glaive. Anyhow. At the close of the age of fire, all lands meet at the end of the earth. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. A great tide of human enterprise. All for naught. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below, there's a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity, even now. 
mutterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. At the close, there. Cool. Keep your mind. All right. One thing that just occurred to me is that there is might be another path. Here. Oh, also, another thing occurred to me is I might want to actually light that bonfire. <laughs> what occurred to me though is that when I beat Frida, where is it? Oh, it would be Arandel Chapel. When I beat Frida, the person in there was talking about painting something, and I wonder if that's related. I just want to double check that before I continue along because there might be something new there. That's a clue I almost forgot about. And then I just thought, wait, wait a sec, there's that, there's a little girl who's painting stuff. It's kind of creepy, but also kind of cute. What does she have to say? Does she have anything new? All right. Hey, kid, what's up? My thanks, Ashen One. I can almost soon, I wonder if the dog... Hmm, nope, okay. Oh, never mind. All right, well, that was a bit of a waste. Worth checking, though. I wasn't sure if there was something there as well, but it looks like it is just what I thought it was. Wait, is that a bonfire right in the middle of... the heck? Oh, right. No, 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 right. That area is just on fire. That's... That's remarkably flammable snow. Wait. Rested bonfire... Oh, hey! There's another path to the drag heap. All right, then. I wonder if it's the same path. I wonder if it's the same part of the drag heap. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so basically, if you just beat Sister Frida after getting the DLC, you move straight on to the new old Ring City DLC. All right, so is there a safe way down from here? No. There are, however, several unsafe ways down from here. There's also an ember! That's why we check everything. Because sometimes there are embers. What do you gotta say for yourself? Take the plunge. Oh, well, alright then. <laughs> I apparently am easily suggestible. Like, here, go, jump off this building. Yeah, why not? Sure. Ah! Oh, oh, my legs. Actually, that might just happen right now. Oh! My legs! Oh, wait, the snow tip broke my fall. Or ash. I, hmm. I'd suggest an ash ball fight, but somehow I think that would either be a sorcery I don't have access to, or something I just don't generally want to deal with. The heck are you? Oh, I forgot to get my crossbow loaded. What the heck? Okay, this is bad. So we're dealing with... Ah... Uh, Soul drags of some kind going in here. Die, die, die. Let's get in the middle. What I really care about is you because you're being a pain. Get out of there. And you. And, whoa! What? What? Oh, no! Okay, so. Wow. That's quite the start there. You got there, DLC. Well, at least my stuff stays on the ground. Anyway, that was a thing. Oh, okay, that, right, I didn't rest at the bonfire over in the DLC area. Yeah, I know it might seem like a random thing to say, but I've also been playing Bloodborne. I actually got Bloodborne. That's a thing I actually got. So my complaints about Bloodborne, about not being able to play Bloodborne, Ironically, even though I am still playing the character that was based off of playing Bloodborne, are no longer relevant. That being said, Bloodborne has some problems of its own, so... Yeah. <laughs> Mostly in that they were trying to recreate Dark Souls 1's movement system using Dark Souls 2's mechanics, so... I've talked about the role system before. The short of it is that in... In Bloodborne, they basically tried to get the... Rolling mechanics of Dark Souls 1, that is... Like, you don't... Or rather, you don't run when locked on in any direction. You only run forward, but they don't give you... They don't give you negative edge rolling to the sides or back, so it's kind of the worst of all worlds. I mean, it's not terrible. 
it's more manageable given the fact that it is I think it's played on a pad and the buttons are smaller, so it makes it a little bit easier. And for the most part, the game is designed around it fine. It's just the old Hunter's DLC that makes it a little bit annoying to deal with. Like, the bosses there feel like Dark Souls 3 bosses in terms of how much they demand super quick reactions. Or that they demand super precise reactions. Like, I found that in Dark Souls 3, I don't really... Oh, shoot! That's me not dead. How did I not die? I don't know, but that's cool. Not dying is better than dying. I will take it. Okay. If I had any boss weapons I cared about, I would certainly use the Titan Scale on them. But yeah, so... Otherwise, Bloodborne's pretty cool. I mean, I was definitely justified in wanting to play it. Because it's good. It isn't Dark Souls, though, but it is good. What? Okay. That's like the Soul Dreg spell made manifest as a thing. But it's apparently a one-shot, so I'll take it. Whoa. Twinkling Titanite. So I've got to be paranoid here. This guy's everywhere. It's like the ground isn't safe. They just pop out of the ground. Pop out of the ash. I should be precise. And then try to do grab attacks on me. And fail. Suckers. Whoa, okay. Why am I not shooting you? I don't know. Where did that spellcaster go? Take the plunge again? I realize I'm impressionable and all, but what the... Wait a sec. Oh, crap. Those guys. Those are the weird butterfly things around the Lothric Castle, I think. That's what they remind me of. Hmm. How am I doing for... I have a loaded crossbow. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I also have deep protection. I... That's not quite what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. Get extra armor going. All right, well, take the plunge. Nothing's popped up so far, but hey, an item. Free items are always good. Ah! Lasers! Lasers are not always good. Free items are much better than lasers. Unless they're free lasers. But I think those lasers are free. They're just not exactly my lasers. It's better when it's my lasers. They belong to me. I get to use them at will. And they don't cost me anything. I don't think that's happening here. Alright, so more of these... Knights... Okay. Well, I can just cut you down by cutting you... Oh yeah, that's the other thing I noticed about playing Bloodborne. Now granted, I am using the parry system I was talking about before that I wanted in Dark Souls, but... Well, I mean, it's, like, it's not gonna happen because it's not Bloodborne. But... Like, the gun thing. I have been using guns. Don't get me wrong. But... The thing is, I have been... While I have been using guns, I have been also... Ah, right. You're just lots of nice stuff. I've also been just doing a lot of slashing people to death with the sword, because... I'm using Ludwig's Holy Blade, and it's basically the same idea, tactically speaking. So, I've, as much as I've been playing Dark Souls 3 like Bloodborne, I've been playing Bloodborne like Dark Souls 3. I don't know. It's a funny little bit of circularity there. But anyway, so all of a Crestfallen Knight, which I assume means these two plus their friend. Actually, those two's friend, because they were hanging out here admiring the corpse. Or mourning. Right, that's what the word is. They're mourning the corpse. Oh, this again. And by this again, I mean the area at the very beginning of the High Wall of Lothric where you had to deal with... Oh, not you. What was I going to say? You had to deal with the knights here... Or knight... Apparent corpses here. And there was a bunch of humanity... Or embers you'd get off that. And then that would give you a multiplayer arena. Of sorts. It's kind of based off the era in Cathedral Ward and Bloodborne, as far as I could tell. Where you get a bunch of the... 
Madness, the what it's called. Ah. Madman's knowledge, that's what I wanted to say. That's what it reminded me of. It looks like they brought it back here for some reason. Oh man, there's guys everywhere. Okay, you're done. You're done. You're constantly coming back. You're clearly nowhere near done. I'm dead. Shoot. That's going to be taking a while to get back to. Okay, so... I'm curious what the actual path is supposed to be there, since I took a drop to get there. I don't know what the actual path is supposed to be. So we started out here, and yeah, I don't really care about soldier now. In case you're wondering, I don't care. I'm not planning to level up anymore. So yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever happens to those souls is kind of irrelevant to me. Which I know is not great for tension, but whatever. Ah, okay, you die. I run. I see something. Oh, hey. Ah! Well, this is where I'd like to have a parry gun. Because, yeah, there's an enemy in Bloodborne that's like this from the very start, and I... My habits are definitely in the gun mode. Ah, shoot! I need to heal up, damn it. Ah. Oh, right. I do have a crossbow, though. And you just made a major tactical error. Well, that's... Ow. Ow! What?! How did that miss? That went like, through your shoulder. Whatever, you're dead. Titanite chunk. More titanite. How many of these do I have? Six. How many do I need? Zero! Well, that's unfortunate. I feel like this is not necessarily designed for a character that's basically completed their build. But on the other hand, probably the reason is the obvious one, which is they're giving you a bunch of new weapons, of which I've just picked up one. Aquamarine Dagger. And they want you to be able to upgrade them all. So, fair enough, I'll give them that. Aquamarine Dagger, a dagger fitted with an aquamarine crystal. Engraved with prayer in the old tongue to ward off incident. Perhaps it was a parting gift given to one sent off on great travels. Skill is Crystal Blade. Release magic from the aquamarine crystals, creating a fleeting blue crystal blade. Lengthy enough to swing as a straight sword. However, it's an intelligence built weapon, so... Oh well. That kind of sucks. Oh, right. This game... I can... I have secrets. Secrets are a thing! I've got to remember that. I might be able to find stuff by slashing walls. I forgot that was a thing. Almost forgot that was a thing. For those of you who haven't played Bloodborne, it's not a thing in Bloodborne. It, it, you don't have secrets. There's like a couple areas where you can smack a wall and it'll break things. Man, this is just High Wall of Lothric all over again. A little shifted around, but pretty much High Wall of Lothric. Anyway, yeah, you can occasionally break obstacles, but there are no illusory walls. Except maybe in the Chalice Dungeon. There might be like three or four in the entirety of the of the game. All of which are inside the Chalice Dungeons. I think that's it. Similarly with this area. I think this is also it. I don't think there's any more up here. If there is, please let me know in the comments, I guess. Because hell if I know. Normally I'm able to find stuff. But yeah, this seems like it's just one enemy. The Aquamarine Dagger. Several Titanite Chunks. Not much else. Alright, cool. 
So, I'm getting the distinct impression that this area is meant to... There we go, there's the drop. There's the break inside of some other area. I'm getting the distinct impression this area is meant to be... something of a reference to basically every area in Dark Souls 3 thus far. And I say that because... Okay, I've got, I've got health. I say that because... It feels like a combination of everything that's been in... Well, it feels like at least Lothric. Like Lothric Castle and High Wall of Lothric and all that stuff. I'm guessing that much remains relatively true overall. Alright, so you are someone I can just slash at until you die. Why don't I have deep protection on? Shoot. Ow! I wouldn't mind my souls back, gotta be honest. Oh, no. Well, too bad. I'll just... Uh, something else I'm gonna say. Oh, yeah, so I think this area is meant to be a mix of a lot of different places in the High Wall, like, in the Lothric area. Like, High Wall of Lothric and the general... big... Not just High Wall of Lothric, it's gotta be most of it. I imagine it'll probably end up being the majority of Dark Souls 3 kind of compressed into one area. That's what I'm guessing this is gonna end up being. Because that just seems like the sort of thing they do. It's basically the send-off to Dark Souls 3, and it's the send-off to Dark Souls as a series. So they might even have references to earlier games as well. So far, though, I'm not really seeing anything. I'm seeing High Wall of Lothric, and now I'm seeing... I'm not sure what this is. Probably the Grand Archives. And then... I don't know what else. Can I fight you? I've got nothing to lose. If I can, it's not easily. Oh, what? Oh! Whoops. I got a ring! I'm not sure if that ring's gonna be that useful, but hey, it's a ring of steel protection plus three, so... If I need more physical defense and don't want to use a spell for it, which I really should be using more often. Oh wait, that actually is relevant. I'm already using this ring of steel protection. Oh wow! Nice. That being said, I'm not sure if I actually want that or if I want to have, like, speckled or dark or something else. But yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Like, the amount of armor I gain from that is better than I gain from wearing a hat. Well, wearing that particular hat, at least. Because if you look at no hat, 27, and then I put on the sorcerer's hat, it's like 28, and then the rest of it's like 28 to 30 for the hats I'm possibly going to wear. So, this is actually a huge boost. Like, I should be taking, like, 50 to 100 less damage per hit. I'm not kidding. I actually did... I ran the calculations months ago. Ow. Okay. I ran the calculations months ago on what happens for different... Well, the slightly different absorption values at the same defense value. Just to get an idea of what it could get away with armor-wise, like, looking like I wanted to, versus actually having a meaningful amount of armor and being able to not die. And... can I shoot you? No, but I need to slash you. Ow! Okay, no, shooting you is gonna be... thoroughly unwise. I have no easy way of dealing with you. Yeah, I have nothing that lets me deal with somebody just from a distance. Darn it! I'm used to having that! This is weird! I haven't played this character in long enough. Okay, forget it. I'll probably be dealing with them later anyway. If not, then I'll come back here and kill them. And yes, for those of you wondering, this is probably the last time I'm going to actually run through here with commentary. I think from this point on, I'll just cut out the run back. Oh, hey, look, a free bridge! I wonder where that's going to come in handy. Oh, hey, look, free lasers! Run! All right, well... Pillar time's over. Let's continue running. What do you gotta say? Take the pl again? Man, this is all about... Ow, plunging. 
A lot of plunging involved. I feel like Fremstop's trying to say something here. Probably involving advertising soft drinks. Okay, whatever. You guys are you guys. You are you. I've already fought one of you. Take the plunge? Okay. Huh. Well, I guess I don't fight the angel. I'll have to deal with that later. Good to know, but hey, exploration time. This is this is the time for exploration. The time for murder is later. What a strange thing to say. But yeah, murdering time is later. We we have plenty of time for murder. I mean, we don't die, which come to think of it kind of moots the entire concept of murder. I mean, if no one dies, then is there even any point to killing anybody? I guess there's a sheer visceral satisfaction of it. But, I don't know, that only lasts so long. Anyway. What do we got here? I have a tower. We have what looks like Lothric Castle on its side. Which is not surprising. Since that's kind of a thing. We have the Mushroom People! Or not Mushroom. The Rota Sacrifices things that spew poison. And are continuing to spew poison. What a pain you all are. Let's cut you and cut you. And apparently not you. Okay, cut you. Long swords use a little bit more stamina than I expected. It's not much, but yeah. My melson memory will take a little while, but should be used to it pretty soon. Okay, so we killed some mushroom people. Gained some scraps of stuff. Souls. Nothing really meaningful. Not right now. I probably should. I'm actually at level 119, so as far as I'm allowing myself, I do have another level, basically, that I'm going to let myself level up to. It's like 120. I realize this isn't much of a PvP build, but 120 is kind of the top for what is generally considered normal in PvP. Oh, hey. Wait a sec. You're undamaged. I have a strange feeling I'm not expected to actually kill this thing. I mean, I could. I just don't really have the tools on hand. I wonder if Storm really would do it. Ow. I mean, I have no reason to believe it would, but... Ah! Quit hitting me! I've seen your laser offer, and I'm fine, thank you. I am spoken for for my lasers. I have enough lasers for my liking. Actually, wait, no. No, I don't. But I'm not... I don't want to buy the lasers you're selling. Please take your business elsewhere. <gasps> wait a sec. Hang on, hang on. You got close. You... Oh, no, you didn't. You just looked like you got close briefly for a sec. You liar. I thought I could kill you. I mean, let's be honest. Murder occasionally does have the use of stopping someone from murdering you. Yes, thank you. Oh. I guess you're not all trying to kill me. At least not trying to kill me exclusively, evidently. Well, never mind then. So, what do we got here? We have another area... Oh, hey, it's thieves. Mine come out of the open. There's a laser salesman for you. Oh, I thought the lasers would hit them. I thought you targeted them. everybody. What the heck just hit me? Seriously, what just hit me? There was something that exploded right there. Alright, whatever. The thieves are not entirely taken care of, but close enough. Now they're taken care of. Alright, so you had an item back here. Desert Pyromancer Guard. I'm gonna read the description for that when I'm not being rained down upon by some avenging angel of lasers.
And before you tell me, those, no, those aren't laser shot. If you're, those are beams of light. That's what lasers are. So, yeah. I almost got an item. All right, Desert Pyromancer Grab. That's what I wanted to read. So the Desert Pyromancer Garb is... Garb of the Desert Pyromancers, who once walked the halls of the Earthen Peak. It is said that the thin burgundy cloth breathes with magic. Desert Pyromancers, most of them female, were known for their great fans of flame and enchanting looks. But what is enchanting can also be deadly, especially when clothed in such an alluring garb. Do they have capes? No. Where is my armor? There it is. Much better. No, those veils, right? That was the top thing. It's desert sorcerers are from Dark Souls 2. They're from the... and the Earth and Peakish area. I mean, I'm not surprised that they have a reference to that here because, well, it's... This is clearly the reference area where all the references are. Or at least go to die. Ow! Speaking of going to die... That's what you've done. Okay, so... Let's take care of... I wonder if there's a Ring of the Evil Eye plus three here. I've been thinking I kind of want a Ring of the Evil Eye. Oh, of course, there's Titanite Chunks. Is there anything around the other side? No, there isn't. Nope, 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 Would you please stop lasering me? No, evidently not. Evidently, you are quite pleased to continue lasering me. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. I don't need that area anyway anymore. I got the Titanite Chunks for what they're worth. I mean, who knows? I might find another weapon that I actually want to use. So, I'll take it. At this point, I still need two more, though, I think. Three more. You need 12 of any level of Titanite in order to upgrade a weapon to the point that it's no longer able to use that upgrade material. So, like, 12... You need, in total, to get to plus 9, 12 Titanite Shards, 12 Large Titanite Shards, and 12 Titanite Chunks, so... I need three more. Okay. I'm sure there's a way to do this without dying. Ow. And I'm sure it involves not running straight away from the lasers, because that's not going to work. Titanite skills, those are probably more useful. I'm going to assume that whatever weapons I get here that I like are going to be boss weapons. So Titanite skills are... You... Of course you would. Titanite skills are going to be more useful than Titanite shards. At least as a guess. Okay. Moss Clump. Andy. Ah. There's a roof up there. Shoot, I missed that. What with the angel trying to kill me? Oh, there's a Prime Gloves. Okay. That's the... Okay, that's what I was thinking was flowing, was the skirt. Ay, uh, you are annoying and loud. Very, very loud. something. It's like fighting dragons. Actually, you know what? I was able to do that before using a knight's crossbow, wasn't I? Hang on, what do I have for weapons here? 24. What? Okay, I didn't realize I could even do that. All right, so what I actually wanted to know, considering the weapons I have, which involve no bows. How strange. Anyway, considering I have... Okay, sniper crossbow is probably my best... Oh, hey, you know what? You know what? Sniper crossbow gives me a really good range. It might actually let me deal with these far more effectively than I thought I would be able to. Because the light crossbow suffers from the range problem of damage fall off. The sniper crossbow suffers from it less. So I'm going to start messing around a bit. I'll be back in a bit after I've messed around with weapons.
Alright, so I decided to make use of all the Titanite chunks I was getting, and got a Sniper Crossbow to plus 8 from plus 6. Also, I just noticed that the the actual title of this area is Earthen Peak Ruins, so my initial suspicions and comments regarding Earthen Peak were entirely correct. Ah, shoot, even that's not dealing much damage. Alright, whatever. This is fine. I found over here was definitely... Ow, 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 ow. Better? I'm stuck. Well, that was a mistake. Okay, so I've got to remember this thing can... Ah, kind of get away from me. Got a giant angel of killing me. Killing me. I can't even hit the bastard. Can I even damage this thing? Or is this just meant to be like some obstacle for the majority of this area? Like, I don't understand what is going on. Like, there's got to be some way to kill this thing. I just don't seem to have it. Well, anyway, I think I could probably just... Call this an episode. It's already been about half an hour, so I I don't know. I might try a different strategy against this thing. I mean, I may have other weapons that have greater range. That seems to be the problem. 50, 50, 59. Yeah, the great bow is the only one I have that comparable. I mean, the advantage of using a bow, of course, is that I'm just able to able to move a little bit, but that doesn't really help much. And also. All that setup time. Granted, Sniper Crossbow has that too. Anyway, I'm just gonna have to figure this out. Because Sniper Crossbow has a bunch of setup time. It might as well be a bow. Alright, anyway. Uh, for now... That's, a, that's our first little trek into the Ring City DLC.